Hello everyone, welcome back. In our previous lesson you have learnt what is data communication, its features and components of data communication. In today's lesson, you will learn different forms of data information and data flow between devices and their types. Now let us see how data is represented. Information today comes in different forms such as text, numbers, images, audio, and video. 1. Text. In data communications, text is represented as a bit pattern. A sequence of bits. Different sets of bit patterns have been designed to represent text symbols. Each set is called a code, and the process of representing symbols is called coding. Today, the prevalent coding system is called Unicode, which uses 32 bits to represent a symbol or character used in any language in the world. 2. Numbers. Numbers are also represented by bit patterns. However, a code such as ASCII is not used to represent numbers. The number is directly converted to a binary number to simplify mathematical operations. 3. Images. Images are represented by bit patterns and composed of a matrix of pixels, where each pixel is a small dot. The size of the pixel depends on the resolution. For example, an image can be divided into 1000 pixels or 10,000 pixels. Better representation of the image takes more memory and more storage space to store the image. There are several methods to represent color images. One method is called RGB, a combination of three primary colors, red, green, and blue. Another method is called YCM, in which a color is made of a combination of three other primary colors, yellow, cyan, and magenta. 4. Audio. Audio refers to the recording or broadcasting of sound or music. Audio is by nature different from text, numbers, or images. It is continuous, not discrete. 5. Video. Video refers to the recording or broadcasting of a picture or movie. Video can either be produced as a continuous entity, or it can be a combination of images, each a discrete entity, arranged to convey the idea of motion. We can change video to a digital or an analog signal. In network, data flow between two devices can occur in one of three ways. Simplex, half-duplex, and full-duplex. In simplex communication, data flows in only one direction on the communication medium. It flows from the source to the destination. The communication is unidirectional, as on a one-way street. Only one of the two devices on a link can transmit. The other can only receive. Keyboards and traditional monitors are examples of simplex devices. The keyboard can only introduce input. The monitor can only accept output. The simplex mode can use the entire capacity of the channel to send data in one direction. Other examples of simplex data flow are radio and television broadcasts. They go in one direction from the transmitting site to your home. In half-duplex communication, data flows in both directions but only one direction at a time on the data communication line. In half-duplex mode, each station can both transmit and receive, but not at the same time. When one device is sending, the other can only receive, and vice versa. The source and destination take turns using the medium. An example of half-duplex communication is a conversation on walkie-talkies. Each person takes a turn talking. If both talk at once, nothing occurs. Other example, when cars are traveling in one direction, cars going the other way must wait. Walkie-talkies and CB radios are both half-duplex systems. Full duplex communication. Data flows in both directions simultaneously. Both source and destination can send data at the same time over the medium. The full duplex mode is used when communication in both directions is required all the time. One common example of full duplex communication is the telephone network. Other examples of full duplex communication is communication using a modems. Modems are configured to allow data flow in both directions at the same time. The source is allowed to send data to the destination while the destination is sending data back. To summarize, data communications are the transfer of data from one device to another via some form of transmission medium. A data communications system must transmit data to the correct destination in an accurate and timely manner. Text, numbers, images, audio, and video are different forms of information. Data flow between two devices can occur in one of three ways. Simplex, half-duplex, or full-duplex. 